in, your, in a medium saucepan, combine sugar, corn syrup, and water. Two cups of sugar. A half a cup of corn or Cairo syrup, whichever one you call it. Two thirds cup of water. Now you want to take that and start to mix it up in your saucepan. Mix it up, mix it, mix it, mix it. Make sure it's mixed well. And you want to make sure that your fire is set between four and six on the dial for the fire. Which will be medium heat. Okay, and now we got that mixed in well. And then this is where your thermometer comes in. You want to take your thermometer and it has a clip on there. You want to take it and clip it so it's not touching the bottom because that will be direct heat. It will throw your candy mixture off. You want to make it so the tip is just touching the corn syrup. I mean, touching your, your candy mixture. Not all the way to the bottom, okay? And you want to bring that to a boil. And while you're getting that to a boil, you can start, you can prep your apple. You want to make sure you always take out your stem while you're washing and while you're drying, okay? And then you want to take your stick, where your stem goes, you want to take your stick and insert it in there, not all the way through the apple, but maybe till you know that it's right in the middle. You might have to twist it, but try not to break it, the stick. It's gonna take some work, but it's in there, and once it's in there, it is in there. See, there you go, and that gives you good room to twist it while you're coating it in your sugar. And we're gonna do it on this other apple. And children, please make sure that you have adult supervision while doing it because the candy is sticky and when it gets hot, it will burn and blister your skin. So make sure you have an adult permission and adult supervision. We're gonna insert the stick one more time just to show you. Stick it in there. It's gonna take some a little work. Not all the way through. You hear that pop? That means it went in there. And there, you have your stick in there. And it's not all the way to the bottom. It's just right. Okay. And we will be right back. As you can see, the candy mixture is starting to come to a little bit of boil. And we are trying to get this candy mixture, the thermometer we want it to be up to at least 300 degrees. And on this candy thermometer, it says that a hard crack stage is 300 degrees to 310 Fahrenheit when it, um, when it cools down the candy. As you can see, our candy mixture is starting to come to a boil. And on the thermometer, what we want to get the thermometer line up to is to at least 300 to 310 degrees. And on the thermometer and on the instructions, the temperature guide on the thermometer casing, you can see the hard crack stage for the candy is between 300 to 310 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's where we want it to be. And what you can do is your water container that you use to measure and pour in your water, you can take some water and put some water in here, some cool water, and you can check your candy by dripping some drip fall into your cool water and then taking it out, take the candy that you dripped out into there and see 
how hard it's going to be once it cools. So that's how you can check your candy if you don't have a thermometer. The temperature right now for this is about 250, almost 250, going to 250. So we're almost there, huh? Yeah, so we're almost there. Another 50 to 60 degrees, we'll be there. Stir it at all? I mean, you don't have to stir it, but if you want to stir it just to ensure that the candy is not sticking, you can. It won't hurt anything at all because the temperature is going to be the temperature regardless. Mm -hmm. and now we're still a little bit below 250. So as you can see, stirring did not change the consistency or the temperature of the candy at all. So yes, this is, so you want it like this. This is where, this is the point that we're at when we're at 250. Can you see it? It's still stretchy and I actually I don't like stretchy candy because especially on out because this is the type of candy that gets stuck in between your teeth and as you let it sit it can make cavities I mean as with any candy it can but this is actually sticky sticking your teeth type of candy But at the same time, you don't want it so hard that they will break the tooth when you bite. Cor correct. So this is where we're going to start testing it right now. Right now, we're still at 250 with this candy. This is uh, the, the hardest part about making candy apples is boiling the candy to the correct temperature. That, uh, other than that, everything else is easy as pie. And this is why we say kids, don't let your kids do this alone because this sugar will most definitely burn and it will stick to you and it will burn because it stick to you. It's worse than hot grits when it get on you. Okay, we're just a little bit above 250 in the hard ball stage. We're heading into the soft rock stage. And I think I'm getting ready to test it again. This is where a lot of your testing comes in. It trying to get it at the correct consistency that you would want it to be in. And let it go up one more line to 270 just about 270 and then I'm going to test it again and see what we have but according to this thermometer it is exactly at the right stages where it's supposed to be and that's a good thing so you know this is a good thermometer okay we're right here well, actually we want a, a little bit above our point where we're supposed to test uh, as you can see, the name, Tastefully a Mother's Love, that's what just distracted me. <laughs> I'm quite sure every mother can understand. So, here we go. We're going to test this again and see if it's at the soft rack stage. We are at 270, 280, 
280 right now. So I think I'm going to get ready to turn this off and stir in our food coloring and our flavoring of choice. Yes, that is exactly how you want it. So after I put the food coloring in to make the um, the sugar blue, I will test it again to let you guys see that is that is awesome. That is the exact. The exact heart, nigga, the consistency that you want your candy, that well, that I want my candy to be in. You, like I said, you get the thermometer and test your own is the way you want it to be. And if you don't have a thermometer, you can still make it visual with the water. We're out now, and we're going to sit there in the sink. Be careful. Make sure your kids are not around, cause the string sugar can get anywhere, and you don't want to burn anybody. Okay, three drops of food coloring. Then we're going to give that a stir to make sure this is the right color that I want. Stir that on in there. Oh. And as you can see, it's no, really no bubbles in here. Ooh. Gorgeous color flavor. Isn't that gorgeous, you guys? Absolutely beautiful blue. So that was three drops of the um the food coloring. Now I'm gonna go in because that is exactly the color that I want. That is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Now I'm gonna take it in here in the water again and let you guys look at the color and the consistency that it's gonna be at when it's cooling. As you can see, the little string, like I was talking about, kids. No kids. Parental supervision. Okay, look at that gorgeous blue. This is what it's going to look like when it's hardened. Isn't that pretty? Nice color. Okay, we're done with that. You can set that off to the side. Lean it to the side here. And we're going to take it and put it in there and we're going to roll it, roll it, roll it. And let that get, drop it like it's hot. Look at that. And this is, like I said, be careful. Kids, be careful. Okay? Adult supervision. And we want to sit that right there. And there's nothing wrong with double dipping. Because if that's not the desired color that you want your apple, then you can double dip. But in the, as you can see, there are hardly no bubbles. Only got one bubble there, okay? And I'm gonna lean it to the side again. I'm gonna take it and roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it, and roll. And I see the thicker that it's cool enough to get, the better coverage that we're getting here. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? A gorgeous blue, look at that. Yes. And I'm going to take this one here and re-dip it again to get a better coverage on my apple. And you're going to take it and lean it to the side and roll it, roll it, and roll it. And you want to be careful because like the, the bigger the apple, the flimsier the stick. There. There and there we have it. Isn't that gorgeous? And we're gonna do this one one more time. Okay. And this, and you just repeat this process here until you get all your apples done. Okay. And we will be right back. 